Line segment OT is tangent to circle P and circle Q. Line segment OC is tangent to circle Q and meets circle P at two points. When the length of OT is 6, and the length of BC is 3, what is the length of AB? Feel free to pause the video now to solve this problem on your own. We will approach this problem by applying the two tangent theorem and the tangent secant theorem. Line segments OT and OB are tangents from the same external point. So the length of OB equals the length of OT by the two tangent theorem. If a tangent and a secant are drawn from a common point outside the circle, the square of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the secant and its exterior segment. Let's take a look how this theorem was made. If we connect T to A and C, and P to A and T, angle APT is twice of angle ACT, and the sum of angle PAT and angle PTA is 180 minus 2A. So angle PTA is 90 minus A. Since the radius from the center of the circle to the point of tangency is perpendicular to the tangent line, angle PTO is 90 degrees, and angle ATO is A. So angle OCT and angle OTA are the same. In triangle COT and triangle TOA, Angle OCT is equal to angle OTA, and they share angle AOT. So triangle COT and triangle TOA are similar, and the ratio of OC to OT is equal to OT to OA. Now we can determine the length of AB by using the tangent secant theorem. 6 squared is equal to 9 times OA. Therefore, the length of AB is 2.